I've just been on a payoff trip and it's been normal. It's three days before we leave, so we need a plan. All the greatest ideas, the invention of the aeroplane, the invention of electricity, all started with a pad and a pen. Wow. Most of them. Get ready for greatness. What do you mean most of them? <laughs> so we decided to road trip to Gold Coast from Southeast Melbourne. The drive's about 18 hours, and we thought we'll do that over three days to make it comfortable. We wanted to spend the first day knocking off the majority of the driving, so we decided to stay in an Airbnb in Sydney. But after that, we felt like camping. So we thought that Trial Bay would be the perfect spot to stay. It has kangaroos and it's only four hours from the Gold Coast. Now that is all planned, we'll see you at Sunday at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. sharp. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, First day of our road trip, um, we're about to go pick up our final member for the road trip and um, it is an early morning, 5.30 wake up. Got to get this loaded in the car uh, and then hit the road. Let's go. So, unfortunately, Lucas, mm -hmm. we just might have to go to Macca's. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> It said Aubrey, the next four exits. <laughs> <laughs> the Murray River. <laughs> we are in New South Wales. Du, 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 du. There's the sign. How much driving have we done this morning? A lot. Yeah, about four hours. Um, so it's definitely lunchtime. So just pulled into Aubrey. Mm. Uh, found a nice place for a sit down meal. And um, yeah, we'll get some food in us and then hit the road again. Yep. So, are you set on something? No. <laughs> I think I might do the shank and then um, we'll see what Steven wants to get. Any idea what you want, Steven? So, the shanks aren't that good. And that tells me that she either lied because she wanted us to buy the shanks because I needed to get rid of the, snake, the shanks. Or, she genuinely believes this is great and she's never been to Melbourne. Hey guys, just rolled into New South Wales. Now, Luke told us that there are kangaroos up in Trial Bay, so that's got us super excited. We're going to push all the way up so that we can have some fish and chips on the beach with kangaroos hopping around. We're super keen, it's going to be epic, so come along. Hey guys, so we've just pulled into the Outback Steakhouse. Um, this has been on my bucket list for ages because it's what the United States thinks Australia eats. So when we're driving, um, I saw the sign for it and I said we had to pull into dinner yeah. to see what it is. So um, we're about to see what they think we eat. Check it out, let's go. This is a blooming onion and we're gonna give you a Score of out of five. Oh wow. Right, that's actually really good. Ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. 
Even though we said it was five stars, <laughs> it's 10 out of 10. <laughs> so this one, cheeseburger spring rolls. Things have just gotten real. I'm definitely gonna need that salt going, for sure. To make Frankie proud. Frankie always tells me to put more salt on my meat. If you need a knife and fork for ribs, you're in the wrong place, mate. You should be eating. Oh, that's tender. You want a rib? I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting there was a franchise. I was expecting they weren't really gonna care. I reckon I was expecting that food was not gonna be Aussie at all. Um, obviously, we don't do blooming onions, but man, we should. I don't know why we're not doing more of these. Cherry lemonade. Get the steak. We have side of coleslaw and jack potatoes, and I promise you, my bro, you will not regret it. Hey guys, day two, chicken. Um, so we just pulled in for the night at this Airbnb. So we're about four and a half hours um, to we're about four and a half hours to Trial Bay. Um, if you stop, if you add in some lunch there or breakfast stop, I reckon five hours. Um, so by about one o'clock, we should be on the beach with some kangaroos. A long range tank is all fun and games until you have to fill up for 30 minutes. Uh, as you know, any good road trip needs a coffee stop. So we've got our coffees, our toasties, and our croissants. All the fuel that you need for road trip. Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Lucas and Luke, and we just pulled into. Southwest Rocks. So our campsite is like that way. That way, about five minutes. Uh, quickly went to grab a bite to eat. Um, we got fish and chips for dinner. So we're gonna grab that, sprint over to our campsite, camping chairs, cold soft drinks yep. on the beach. That I think is gonna be a picture perfect dinner. This is not a five star view. Hey guys, so just pulled into Chilati for some gelato and ice cream. Boys, what do you reckon? Yeah. Top quality, so good. Five star. Um, so far, Southwest Rocks has not let us down. It does not miss. Fish on point, calamari on point, prawns on point, ice cream on point, views are on point. Um, we've agreed as a team that this will be a non-negotiable stop-off point on any Palos road trip up the east coast. After this, we're headed to the camp spot. We're gonna set up swags. Get everything ready and then chillax. Chillax under the stars. See you guys. Every time I've been camping, right? Yeah. Every once in a while when you try to do something camping, right? What I always notice is that the locals come along yeah. just to judge you. Always picking ass Victorians, 
trying to tell us how to roll off a swag. Yeah. What a beautiful morning here at Trail Bay Campgrounds. One of my favorite spots. You get kangaroos, a beautiful swim with warm water, awesome cafes. So we allocate the whole day here. We don't want to rush it. We want to take up every single moment. So we're going to go for a swim, have a feed, and have a good laugh. To Kalati, the yeah. greatest ice cream in Australia. The thing they don't tell you about being an adult is that you can go and just buy a birthday cake mm. when it's not your birthday yeah. and nobody will stop you. Mm. You can just go to the shop and just buy one and take it home and eat a whole birthday cake and no one will stop you. And what I realized is that it also applies to ice cream. This is our second bit of ice cream, but we're the adults. So, if we want to get ice cream two times in one day, we need to ice cream two times. There's literally no one that's going to stop us. And they don't tell you that. Yeah. They don't tell you that when you become an adult, but they should. Mm. And we still don't know why. So Lucas, is it big enough? No. <laughs> it's not big enough? No. That's not a big enough for Anna. No. Oh, gee. <laughs> so just putting the Coffs Harbour, uh, quick little stop off as we continue on. But uh, Lucas, I think it's time to make like a banana and split. <laughs> 